how to edit a collecting event without changing shared data. The collecting event table in Arcdos is where we keep all of our verbatim information as well as all of our temporal data. A single collecting event can be related to multiple specimens, and this is a really useful tool because many specimens can be collected at a given time and place, and it allows us to normalize these data between specimens that were collected together so that we can edit their collecting uh, data all at one time. However, because of this, it's also really easy to inadvertently change data for many specimens when you only really want to edit a single specimen record. And this tutorial is going to walk you through one of the ways that we can do this um, for a single record. So here I am at my catalog record. Um, what I want to do right now is to update my verbatim fields to reflect um, the data that I can see on the tag of this particular cotton rat. So first I need to go into edit location. I'll open up my collecting event in a new tab. And immediately I can see that this cotton rat shares a collecting event with two other mammal specimens that I don't want to edit at this particular time because I haven't actually gone and checked those tags. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to use these clone event uh, buttons right here. Cloning event, an event uh, essentially just duplicates all of uh, my event data into a new event um, that I can then edit uh, without fear. So I've got two options for this. Either clone both the event data as well as clone the locality to which this particular event is related, or I can only clone the event and tell Arctos to relate my new cloned event uh, to this existing locality, which is what I want to do in this instance. So I'm going to hit clone event, and voila! Now I have a new collecting event that's not related to any specimens at the moment um, that is also related to the locality um, of my previous event. So here, uh, now I'm safe to edit um, my verbatim information. I'm going to input exactly what uh, I see on the tag here. And while I'm at it, I'll edit my begin and ended dates so that they um, play nicer with um, the data aggregators. I'll hit save. And now all that's left to do is relate this new cloned event uh, to my uh, cotton rat specimen. So I'm going to come up here and copy my collecting event ID, return to my cotton rat, I'll hit pick new event, and find my new cloned event uh, using the collecting event ID. And here we go, it comes up in the search. I'll hit use this and save my specimen event. And when I refresh the page, first of all, you can see that now um, the collecting event to which this specimen is related uh, only contains this uh, one particular specimen. And when I refresh the page, you can see that my verbatim fields um, reflect the changes that I made. I can also change collecting event uh, data non-invasively uh, using my fork edit tool right here, which allows me to update collecting event, specimen event, and locality data, um, select new higher geography, all in one page. Uh, the downside of this as compared to the um, clone tools that I just showed off uh, is that all of these tools create new events and new localities um, uh, automatically once I hit save. So it, it tends to denormalize um, the locality table. Um, so if you're interested in using existing localities, using the clone tools uh, is a better option.